Good day. It's Tuesday, December 12th. I'm Martin Gagel with Market Radius Research. We've got Musgrove joining us today, and Musgrove is an ag tech company focused on patented, natural, science-based plant protection and soil amendment solutions. And the company just announced some very significant news, a commercial collaboration agreement with Bayer, one of the world's largest plant protection companies. We've got CEO Corey Jasson joining us. Remember, this is neither a recommendation nor investment advice. We're here to learn about the company. Corey, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. Congrats on the news. And uh, please give us some details on what, what does this news all mean for Musgrove? Yeah, uh, significant news for our company. Uh, annou- announcing a commercial agreement with Bayer, our first commercial agreement with one of our partners that we've been collaborating with uh, around the world. We're quite excited about it. Uh, it shows uh, our partners' confidence in uh, our technology and it defines a path for us to get our technology commercialized and registered in 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 the market for for potential sales down the road. You initially, I can't remember how long ago, it was a couple of years ago you announced uh, this the initial work with Bayer and now it's obviously progressed to a point where they found success and they're they're like what they're seeing and you've moved it on to the next step to the path to commercialization. That's correct. Yeah. I mean, we set these agreements up initially. They were exclusive R&D agreements uh, for for field trials in their respective territories. We realized that our partners, such as Bayer, uh, would want to test the technology uh, before they move to commercial uh, type of agreements in that. And that's what we did. Uh, With successful results, uh, we now have a commercial agreement in place with this party uh, that defines who does what, uh, to get the product registered, to get the product into the market, and then uh, post registration and sales of the product, who gets the piece of the what what piece of the pie uh, to divvy up everything uh, for um, you know commercial sales and uh, access to it. So so this is a commercial licensing type of uh, agreement. Um, there uh, the agreement has an upfront and milestone payments coming to Muscro. Um, and in addition, Bayer is spending development uh, costs or development work to get the product registered, whether that be field trials uh, for registrations, registrations themselves and submission of these registrations all the way through to getting uh, a registered product in that. And, and we're quite excited from that. Once we do have a registered product, uh, Musgrove will receive a royalty uh, down the road and potential um, um, uh, uh, cost plus of supplying extract uh, manufacturing products to uh, to bear for for formulation of the final products. All right. So in the near term or the immediate term, you're getting an upfront payment um, from buyer. You didn't mention it in the news release, so I presume you can't put a, a dollar figure on it uh, uh, publicly here. Yes. Yeah. No. There is a there is a dollar figure that we didn't mention in the news release or any of the milestones payments that potentially could come uh, throughout the development work. Uh, but, we, you know, we're dealing with our partner Bayer, who wants to keep this co- uh, information confidential. Obviously, they're dealing with other parties, uh, and and in addition, this is this is our first commercial agreement. We hope to have future commercial agreements with other players, potentially as well down the road. So we don't want to hinder any of the negotiations that are, are that are happening or are potential to happen in the future. And as well, in the news release, you stated that you're looking at some other potential regions to work with buyer on. Or as well, other applications like the the banana um, market. Uh, so this, there could be additional partnerships. Hopefully, there are with other players as well as additional partnerships with Bayer itself. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we we announced in the in the news release that um, Bayer will be doing other work in other regions um, that doesn't fall under this commercial agreement. So it's it's more uh, testing in other regions uh, to see the efficacy and all that to come up with a business case. Um, for themselves so that hopefully down the line, uh, these other regions potentially could move into a commercial type of an arrangement. Uh, and that would include bananas as well to do the, the testing on bananas so that uh, hopefully down the road with successful results, we have a commercial agreement with Bayer uh, potentially on bananas or with other parties in that. And that, so so that they're doing more work than just what you see in the commercial agreement. Yeah. And getting products registered and then going through the marketing process, those are expensive um, endeavors by any company to do. In the news release, it says 35 to $40 million Bayer is going to be spending 
on this. So, but to make it clear, are you going to be spending much yourself or on this registration process or just providing Bayer some support where needed, but they're doing all the heavy lifting regulatory wise and financially wise. So this is a relatively low cost or expenses for you uh, on this endeavor going forward. Yeah, I think um, we announced the estimated cost uh, of about 35 to $40 million US. Uh, that would include the upfront, the milestone payments that come to Musgrove, in addition to the develop, in additionally, uh, there's development work that Bayer will be spending. They'll, they, they will be spending the majority of, of the um, the the work that needs to be done in terms of registrations and all that stuff, field trials, et cetera. Musgrove will have a minimal cost that's not included in that estimate. And, and again, that's a Musgrove, that's an internal estimate that we have about what it would take to get the product registered in these territories. Um our minimal costs would include product stuff such as providing uh, product for them to test and all that. So similar to what we've been doing already on our our uh, yeah. collaboration agreements and that. Um, we are obviously providing them the extract or the technology to go and do the work uh, necessary for testing. Uh, anything else we should add uh, about this uh, news release and this uh, partnership you announced? This is our first one. We're very excited about it with our partner, Bayer. Uh, you know, we're what a great partner to have, and we're, we're looking forward to taking it to the next level. And uh, there'll be a lot of work, heavy lifting uh, to do here in the future. Uh, we're quite excited about this is our first one. I mean, there's other territories, there's other um, regions, there's other applications, and we want to take that product pipeline uh, of those other areas and move them into commercial um, agreements and, 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 and start driving those towards registrations and commercial sales down the road now we're, we're the tech company we need to partner with the with the know-how such as Bayer to go and do that and we're quite excited about uh, getting our first one and hopefully i'll have more in the future this past year as we wrap up 2023 was a pretty eventful year for uh, Musgrove. a lot was accomplished can you just give us some highlights of what would what all the things you got done this year our objective this year was to uh to move towards commercialization and i i think we've done that quite successfully it started off with um um, doing our first commercial production run and that with a contract manufacturer on a commercial level, continuous basis of, of the extract. Now, we didn't have to build a pilot to go and do that. We were able to do that with a contract manufacturer. So that was a, you know, a big check, check mark for us to, to be able to do that, to prove that this, this technology can be produced at a commercial level and it's scalable. Um, the second part on commercialization would have been getting our registration in Washington state, on Sante, the biofertility product that we're, we're bringing into that market. Now that's the first state, hopefully in early part of next year, we'll have multiple states in the US where we're now able to go and sell product. So we'll know how to produce it. And now we have a registered product that um, that we can go and sell. So hopefully sales start next year. Uh, that, would, that to me would be the second part of our commercial uh, uh, objective this in this past year. And then the, this third one was just our announcement with Bayer here right now. To get a commercial partner with the on on the biocontrol side, um, with uh, one of our partners here, uh, you know, in in regions that it, it's pretty hard for us to go and do, you know, in in Europe, uh, the Middle East, and Africa, Moscow couldn't do this by themselves, and we're we're very excited to be partnered with commercially with um with Bayer to help us get there. For next year, you, you said early next year you hope to announce registration for Terrasante and a couple of other states. Uh what are your other big milestones that you're hoping for for 2024 or what other types of news uh should investors be uh on the lookout for uh going into 2024? For 2024 our objective is to get more and more um registrations on on the biofertility uh front but also to start moving some product into into that market and start getting initial sales, and that so that's uh, that's going to be a, a key checkpoint. And um, you know, uh, Musgrove will no longer be hopefully a pre revenue company, but a revenue generating company. Now, now those sales, I mean, it's a it's your typical hockey stick. It's going to start off slow and but hopefully ramp up significantly uh, over the next uh, several years, so that uh, you know we uh, you know we're, we have significant revenues coming. And that's our objective. Um, it's our it's a it's a forecast, and uh, but that's why we, that's why we get up every day to and go to work to try to get this product into the market and get as many sales as possible. Um, Bayer, we're obviously going to be pushing that uh, collaboration, this commercial agreement forward here. So there'll be a lot of work with with that partner. But there's other regions, as I mentioned, uh, that aren't commercialized here yet, and uh, we continue to uh, to do talks with many groups around the world about 
how to get this technology commercialized uh, in in other regions that are that are not uh, currently commercialized right now. So you've previously announced uh, several other uh, major uh, development agreements, uh, sort of R and D development agreements with other global partners. Hopefully, some of those maybe could emerge into a uh, uh, a commercial agreement in the coming year for different products or different territories. Uh, potentially, yeah, and it might not. Uh, th those collaboration agreements. Um, we have announced, but, you know, we talked to many different groups uh, around, around the world. And, um, you know, um, our, our objective at the end of the day is to get this technology commercialized in as many places as possible and as quickly as possible so that we can generate as many sales as possible. And uh, that's what it's all about. And that's what we're doing. Corey, thank you very much. Appreciate the, uh, the time and uh, have a great holidays. And we'll talk to you again, hopefully in the new year. Same with you, Martin.